Hi everyone, this is Mitch from the Warren County Public Library. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our digital titles like ebooks, e audiobooks, comics, movies, stuff like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is one, make sure you have a library card with the Warren County Public Library. You can get a full service library card by coming into any library or you can get a digital services only card by applying online. So I'm going to show you how to get to our digital titles. So up here, you're going to hover or click on catalog and then click on online catalog. So one of the great things about our digital titles is you don't have to return them. They just automatically check themselves back in. So if you scroll down, we're going to be looking first at the kids and teens ebooks and audiobooks. We're going to go ahead and click on overdrive teens. So overdrive allows you to check out ebooks and audiobooks. So if you look at them, uh, there's this new stuff here. This is a audiobook. And I can tell that based on the fact that it says audiobook. There's also an icon here for it. If I scroll down, you can see these. This is an ebook because of the book icon. Well, let's click on this Percy Jackson book. So if you wanted to borrow this book, there are two of two copies available and there's no waiting on it. Just like in an actual library, we only have so many copies available of certain books. So for this one, we happen to have two. Some books will only have one. If you wanted to check this book out, what you do is you would click borrow and that would add it to your account. From this drop down menu up here, if you were to click on loans, it would show that it was checked out right here. Now let's say that there was a book that you wanted to check out, but there were no copies available like this one here. What you would have to do is click place a hold and you would need to make sure that you have your email in your account because that's how you're notified that it's ready for you to check out. It also will tell you right here about how long it'll be before it's ready for you. So if you use Overdrive, you can always download the app that they've made for phones and tablets, which is Libby. So Libby is an app that is designed by Overdrive for your phones and tablets for libraries. It's available on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. So again, we're going to be back on the digital titles page. We're going to scroll down here to kids and teens again. And this time we're going to focus on Hoopla. So the first time you use Hoopla, you'll need to create an account with an email and password. So you might want to write that down in case you forget it. So there's lots of different things that you can check out on Hoopla. There's audiobooks, there's movies, there's music, comics, ebooks, and television. Let's look at ebooks. So if you scroll down, you can see all the different titles that are available. And let's look at 1984 here. So a couple things to note here. Uh, you can go ahead and just borrow the title. You can heart it, which will add it to your favorites, which is a way to create a list or a queue of things that you might want to check out later so you don't have to check out all the stuff at once. And then it'll also tell you how long it's going to check out. So this book checks out for 21 days. Not everything on Hoopla is going to check out for 21 days. So always make sure that you check and see how long an item checks out. So one of the great things about Hoopla, unlike Overdrive, there's not a limit on the number of copies available. So you and a bunch of your friends could all check out 1984 and you wouldn't have to wait. So once you favorite an item, if you go to My Hoopla, it'll appear under Favorites. And Currently Borrowed shows what you currently have checked out. So I have this book checked out and it's due back in 21 days. Just like all of our digital titles, it'll automatically check itself back in. Okay, the next resource we're gonna take a look at is Frigal Music. So if you scroll back down here under Music, and we're going to click on Freegal Music. So Freegal is a great way to download music for free. And you get five downloads a week. And one song is going to count as one download. So this is what the Freegal homepage looks like. For it, you will need your library card. So if you go up here to the top right and just click Login, you would just type in your library card number here and click Login. So this is what the homepage will look like after you've logged in. You'll notice that this has changed from Login to Log Out. And up here, you'll see a Downloads counter and it says five remaining. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to take a look at all this different stuff available on Freegal. Up here, there'll be featured songs, featured albums. Let's take a look at this Orville Peck album. So if you click on this icon over top of the artwork, that's gonna play you a sample of the song. Here, it's gonna tell you the artist name, the album, of course, the, the track length. And if you go over here, there's a star where you can add an item to your wish list. Kind of like on Hoopla, you don't want to download everything at once or you won't be able to. So you can save this to your wish list so you can download it later. And then finally over here, there is a download button. So if you click on that, that's going to download that track to your computer. And now it's yours to keep. 
remember to always check with your grown-up before downloading. So for our next resource, we're going to be back on the digital titles page, and we're going to scroll back down to kids and teens ebooks and audiobooks, and we're going to click on Teen Book Cloud. Teen Book Cloud is an online database of ebook resources for teens. It has a great selection of graphic novels, enhanced novels, ebooks, classic literature, National Geographic videos, audiobooks, and more. So Team Book Cloud is very similar to Hoopla and there are unlimited copies of things available so you don't ever have to wait so you and your friends could all be checking out the same items. To look around Team Book Cloud you would just browse through these different categories up here at the top or you could do a search. You could search by title, by author, genre, Lexile score, AR score, or keywords. And it's very simple. You just go in, you click on an item. So just like some of the other resources we've looked at, there is an add to favorites if you'd like to save it for later. Uh, there's a summary here of what it is. There's gonna be your AR points. There's a grade level here, and then a Lexile score. And you just click read online. That's gonna open the book up in another window. And then you just scroll. And then we get to the bottom. You're just gonna click on the arrow up here. The next resource we're gonna take a look at is called Canopy. So back on the digital titles page, we're gonna scroll down here to movies and TV. So we're gonna click on Canopy. So you do have to have a library card. You will have to create an account with an email and password. So you may wanna write that down in case you forget. So I'm gonna click on add library card or I would do login. It depends on if you've already been here before or not. I already have an account, so I'm gonna click on login. If you get to this page and you realize that you don't have an account, you can go up here and click don't have an account yet. And then it will just ask you to type in your library card and then you'll hit continue and set up your account. So once you're logged into Canopy, it's very similar to a lot of the other resources that we've already looked at. Up here in the top, there's going to be your counter. So you have 10 credits a month with Canopy. And one movie or documentary is going to count as one credit. So if you go up here, you can click on browse. There's lots of different things. So a lot of what's going to be on Canopy is going to be independent films, art house films, foreign films, documentaries. So if you hover over the item, it'll tell you the title, the length, the star rating for the users that have watched it, and a brief summary. You can go ahead and click watch or you can add to my list. So just like Netflix or any type of streaming service, it allows you to create a list. So the last things I'm going to show you are actually different sections on our website specifically for you. So if you go back to the home page and you go down to youth, we're going to click on the teens page. So there's all these different resources available for you. I'm going to go ahead and look up the 51 books to read before high school. So if you scroll through this list, there's a lot of books here. And what you do is you just check them off as you go. And then when you do, just come into a library location and let us know. And we'll give you a certificate showing that you completed the list. And the last thing I want to show you is going to be the section for you on the at home page. So we'll go to at home and then we're going to click on teen. And this is going to be a list of activities that you can do at home. Some of them are going to be art. Some of them are going to be yoga. Some of them are going to be STEM stuff. These are all really cool resources that we've curated together for you. And we hope you like them. And that's everything for this video. I'm Mitch from the Warren County Public Library. Thanks for watching.